maybe in, in the last part of the discussion, I just want to share a few thoughts on um, I, I've been speaking with colleagues lately. I had a great discussion with Dr. Christine Schaffner, who uh, is really an expert on uh, treating chronic illness. She's seeing electro hypersensitives and she's open to all anything in medicine, anything, energy medicine and past life regression and trauma, but also the nutraceuticals and also the pharmaceuticals. Like she has a very deep and wide understanding on, of all healing modalities. And what she told me is this, I recommend turning off the cell phone and doing these things. She recommends uh, hypersensitives to have a building biologist or EMF uh, mitigation expert coming to their home. So she's already doing all that. And now she's considering certain technologies that let's say, might support the body's uh, either, I, I don't know what they support. Is it that the human body can now uh, have stronger antennas to read the Schumann frequency? So is it that you're able to uh, ramp up your ability to see through that noise? Is it through the biofield and we have a certain uh, harmony to the human body on a bioelectrical standpoint that we have a hard time quantifying and we made this stronger, hence maybe the noise isn't as harmful anymore. So certain certain aspects of the problem that I think are fair to explore, but note that Christine Schaffner doesn't think that it's 100 protection. This is ludicrous. Just claiming instead, they could say, you know, it, it, it is shown to reduce EMF stress or it is taught to reduce EMF stress or it could improve it could improve your EMF resilience based on these studies. Like if they were fair with their marketing, maybe I would look further into certain of these technologies. Like I see some that claim uh, it's going to uh, play around with water structure in your cells in order to maybe add a little bit of resilience to this electrosmog. And I'm like, well, okay, maybe that's an idea. Maybe making your mitochondria stronger and less reactive to noise in the outside environment. I don't know. But the fact that they're not honest like this is is really hard for me to connect with these companies too. Exactly. No, it's, uh, I, I, I am glad you, you brought that up because there is a certain era which we should look into. And this is the uh, what actually, and uh, this is something which very much interests me, and it's always for me the question because it's a it's a simple fact, and we should all being on the side of health and being you know anti EMF and so on, we should all all remember that that's a simple fact that EMF does not affect everybody. Okay or at least we should say does not affect everybody in the same extent. Yes. So with the same outcomes, right? So we are in the world that there is an interaction which is between the very complex self-regulatory uh, system of the body and the stressor like, like the EMF, okay? Which is also a complex one and so on. And we have an interaction. And if from that inter inter interaction, we have symptoms, then we are saying that someone is electro hypersensitive and so on and so forth. And we should look into this interaction if we can find some ways of making it less harmful for the, for the person, right? So this is uh, this is very uh, important thing to do, I mean, to explore the, this work. And I can say there is much to do yeah. here. All right, and it, uh, but it's not sold as a sticker. It's not sold as a, a magic pill, and, a, and an it's easy not solution. as a pill or something. But if you are able to reverse your diseases, to make yourself better functioning, then automatically you will be less protect. You will be much more protected from the from the stressor, and it goes for any stressor. Yes. Yes, you know, exactly. For anyone, okay? It's like if you're, I call it a regulatory capacity. So the actually the range of the environmental uh, conditions which you can healthy react to is bigger. So the regulatory capacity is bigger. Then you are better off with this or that stressor added to your environment. Yeah. All right? So 
but this work to to actually broaden your your or bring back and broaden your regulatory capacity is usually if it's if it's small if it's collapsed and so on it's usually has to begin with disconnecting those stressors because yeah. you you cannot heal post traumatic uh, uh, post traumatic stress syndrome on the battlefield <laughs> you know you cannot well do put. it yes you you cannot do it okay so th there is a question what to do and how to do it and this is actually the the, the whole area of of I, I do not call it medicine because medicine is actually doesn't, you know, it's not doing the, this actually. I, I mean, the, the actually finding a ways to restore your vitality, your, vitality your health and so yes. on. I mean, vitality because on all levels or on the mental level or so on the, on the spiritual level and so on, but on all levels, this will help your electro your, your response to the electro or electromagnetic stress but it will be a hell of a work yeah. and it must incorporate lessening of the stressor because otherwise you cannot do it and you not, cannot reverse it yeah, because you yeah. you will not have a conditions even for an hour or two or for your sleep you do not have conditions for your body to react this is what I'm telling if I have an opportunity to talk to the health practitioners uh, of any kind. It's, it's, it, I am saying to the homeopaths, you know, uh, and uh, other things, uh, and other, I mean, herbalists and so on and so forth. I mean, today uh, you have the, the you, you face the, the certain situation which is, which is shocking you. You put the very well thought and very good interventions to the people and they do not work. That's true. And they all, you know, nod their heads. Yes. And I say, why is that? And the reason is because the environment now is such uh, that the people do not react as they used to. Because we, we, I, I was talking about this is the system and the stressor and another stressor and another stressor. And then you have the interaction. And then you think you, you put this herb, which is very good for that. And you read the studies from 40 years ago, and it was really terrific in the studies, even in the scientific studies working for this condition. And you have the paradoxical response from the patient or no response at all or response for two days and then go down you now and so on. And you have all kinds of that because the system you are trying to uh, you are trying to repair it's actually responding completely differently because it's it's unregulated it's out of his of of its regulation capacity and if it's out of its regulation capacity then really no nothing works okay yeah. so. What I am saying from the from my perspective is you have to bring back the natural information first before you bring the energy back. Okay, so the information first, because the information is actually the crucial for the body to react to self heal to to, to react to the interventions, to the medical intervention, herbal intervention, homeopathic intervention, you name it, body intervention, whatsoever, or, you know, psychology intervention, good talk and so, something. You cannot react if you are completely stressed. You yeah. cannot react properly. So nothing works. Psychotherapy does not work and, and other things if you are at very much of stress and very narrow regular regular and you have very narrow regulatory capacity so to broaden that you have to bring back the information first and where is this information i mean at least in the electromagnetic scope we are talking about here this information is a natural field so you have to reconnect to the natural field how to reconnect you have to you have to make the signal, natural signal, to noise, which is artificial noise, ratio bigger. So first you have to go to nature, go outside and spend time there. 
at least a couple of hours or even more. You maybe you need to, 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 to move out from the from the place you are living. Maybe you need to, to change your job. I know that these are tough decisions and they do not sell well. You know, if I talk to the person that you cannot survive in this environment, it's you know, it's a tough point to sell. Yeah. It's not like sticker, you know, or harmonize. <laughs> exactly. A no, sticker is just 50 bucks so and now you're talking I, I do about not have, out. I, yeah. I do not have financial success with that, you know? <laughs> and, <laughs> well, but, you know, the yeah. sad truth is that you cannot bring the information back to the body and it's crucial in anything, you know? Cancer is, is a, it's, it's a lack of information, you know? The cells are growing, but they're growing uncontrollably because there is a lack of information when they, when they shoot suicide. Actually, yeah. apoptosis is suicide. So if you have apoptosis, switched off then you have cancer all right so your cell have to know when to commit suicide and this is a crucial information for life you know and this is the the the, the same goes here if you if we are lost in this in this electromagnetic environment and we do not have this electromagnetic signals this is a big part of our health and you know, I, I, I really don't believe that it will be any sticker like that. You no, know? and it's it's like uh, I give you an example, like uh, ten year or twelve years ago, or maybe even 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 far back, uh, even farther back. It was like twenty years ago. Uh, there came a, a certain certain guy in Poland who came up with the idea that he will structure the water with the with the certain disk. And it's even worldwide recognized. It's called ADR, and he published uh, and he published uh, a study uh, where he showed on the thermal the, on the thermal camera, I mean the thermographic camera, that the people with condition of um, um, of problems with the with the circulation, I, I just cannot recall the name of the disease. And now uh, they are helped by this. Okay, it's it's like, like if they drink the water which is put on this uh, on this disc for like ten minutes or something, and they publish a study, so not a big study, but a certain subjects, and they simply measure with the with the thermographic camera their hands and so on, and the circulation improved. All right, so it went. He went genius. You know, he sold thousands of it and something, and then I just. At the very beginning, I was also amazed by that. I did, did, there was a short time when I, 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 I think I even was uh, ready to selling that, but I, I, I did not, and, and so on. But it was just, I tried to using that, and then I start thinking that, you know, this is a, a kind of a stimulation to the circulation, which is which is going on from uh, from the from this uh, magnetic impulse of that, but. Is this really something uh, something so much helpful? Because if we are trying to manipulate the human biology by stimulating, okay, then we stimulate. But you know, the response to the stimulating the the, the human organism really depends on the regulatory capacity. Yeah. Now, if you have a big regulatory capacity, like you are an, a trained athlete. Then you can take a very, very, you know, very heavy weights, and your muscle will grow, right? But try to put it into the, you know, sick person during the chem chemotherapy. Doesn't you know, work. you, you, it, it, just, it just simply kills him. You know, it's, uh, it's like that. So, the stimulus, if you're using, then if you're using the stimulation, the stimulation has to be very uh, carefully you know, tapered to the possibility of regulate for the organism. And then you can go step by step for bigger and bigger regulation. But if you just stimulate and you even get the response, which looks good on paper, you know, I, I just said, you know, what if we, we, for those people with the problem of circulation, what if I give them, you know, 30 milliliters of cognac? I will get the same response. <laughs> yeah. I will get the same response now. And uh, did I cure anything? Did it's I 
just temporary increase of yeah, blood flow. Exactly. Uh, you, you can repeat it, you know, day by day, but it does not bring you health, your health back. Yeah. No, and probably it, even in the longer run, it probably if your regulatory capacity was this will be done. All right. So it's, it's not the, the, the right direction. So we have to think a little bit deeper than those uh, uh, pictures which are, uh, which are for us prepared for us to buy, you know, products. OK, and just think deeper if this is really if we are really talking about health, reversing disease and and really bringing back, back our vitality and broadening our regulatory capacity. So we are simply we can take more of the stress of this life and even you now even thrive on this, yeah? even even thrive on this. Uh, but now. Today it's becoming tougher and tougher because the environment is uh, is really full of stressors and the electromagnetic environment is a big part of it uh, and it's growing. The stress is growing. So for most of the people which are recovering, which are fighting for their for their health, it has to be certain strategy of lessening the exposure. There is no other way around, even if you want to be even, even if you do not want to reverse any illness or, or something. You, you, you have to simply build a little bit of space, at least. Proper, probably the best is the sleeping uh, time. Uh, you have to build the space where you can recover, all right? Even if you are good now, all right? It's, it's like it's going to be worse even even uh, you know everything even you will be older all right so, so it's, it's it's going to be worse so you if you are conscious about it you should give yourself such a space or maybe you should consider now at least changing of job changing of of lifestyle or something like that the uh, and especially if you are already through the uh, through the serious illness, then then it's no question about it. All right, it's uh, it's it's a very important part. Uh, and I think th this kind of understanding is what really drives me to to look into into all this. I like the multidimensional approach, right? Not not just you know this or that. So. Thinking, uh, what I would like think about, uh, I would like people to think about before they buy, <laughs> right? And this yeah. is what I am actually trying to sell. Uh, uh, it's, it's understanding, okay? It's broader understanding of things. So don't be so fooled about the good reaction on a HRV, good, because we you are now relaxed. Relax, 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 okay? Uh, it's not, it's, you know, it's... it's uh, uh, I am saying that that the the stress it's it's for something, okay? In if 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 there is an electromagnetic stress and your body actually senses it, that is something you should be worried about. It it's a stressor and you have to deal with it, okay? And and because your body is reacting to it, so switching off the stress response, okay? Take a half half liter of vodka. That's good for one day, like you say. But then what? Okay. So you can buy a sticker. You can buy a harmonizer. All right. You you are good with it. But that doesn't really make sense for a longer run. Okay. If you want to help yourself. And I am not saying absolutely, as as, as you can see that that searching in this area, how to actually broaden this regulatory capacity, how to do it in any certain case, in the individual case, is actually what I call healing, or I call art of healing, all right? To understand, and this is very complex system, and how to find in an individual, for the individual, those reactions which are the best for this time, and for, for this type of person and for this type of stress and how to help the person navigate through all of this because I cannot decide for the person, all right? I, I, can only, I can only give them the tools and thoughts and some frames of references to navigate in this world, right? That's, that's what I'm doing. This is great, Pavel. Uh, it was such a rich conversation. I think I'm going to probably split it in half because it's so rich. And 
Uh, yeah, this you know, is always my problem. Uh, well, no, <laughs> no. It, well, it's not a problem for me and my, and no, my the audience. People, people are saying, you know, your videos are so long. I cannot take it. You know, <laughs> I'm saying, okay, it's not for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same. But you, you, you have a very in in deep um, understanding, but also you're a holistic thinker. And not a lot of people can go to your 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 depth of of thinking. And I think that's that's what we miss, unfortunately, uh, in uh, people who are in functional medicine. But in reality, they do kind of a, a green version of allopathy, where they they give supplements instead of pharmaceuticals to mask the symptoms and things like that, because they didn't they don't they're not thinking very widely about about this this thing called health and then when it comes to emfs is the same thing i have a few uh, things i'm going to send you after this conversation there's a company that uh, claims they've changed uh intracellular calcium concentration after exposing uh in rats um exposed to mm -hmm. electrosmog and then they use a, a kind of pyramid thing i don't know it's always interesting you know I, I think the conclusion of, of all this, if I, I can uh, speak, well, let me know if I'm wrong about this. We're open to the possibility that some harmonizers or active or even passive technologies, who knows, or maybe internal protection, we don't know if we can discover something that's going to really help us build our resilience in this modern electropolluted world. However, we're against claims that you put something on your technology and all of a sudden it's safe. What we know for sure is, is that none of this is safe. We, we haven't yeah. even began to quantify the, the level at which their disease, if there's even one, and if there's not, we're going to be in trouble because it's part of society. So we're in a very bizarre conundrum where we love technology and we use it, but maybe wireless is going to have to go. We're going to have to go 100% wired or maybe we're going to go through other types of wireless transmissions and uh, maybe a future episode <laughs> talking about uh, t uh, communicating yeah. through light or even uh, scalar waves. I don't know. Like there, There's going to be so much development in the next decades. Yeah, I, I would like to just, uh, you know, I, I have to make one comment about this calcium you know, influx reduction. Uh, it actually, I, I, you know, I, I didn't see it, so I maybe... Mm, maybe maybe a little bit too fast with this comment, but uh, probably not because the, this is more more fundamental. Now it's like, um, especially in America, uh, Dr. Martin Paul and uh, really respectfully, uh, this was this, the, this was the right way. Was was very famous about this calcium influx uh, effect of the. Of the electromagnetic fields yes and then you know the industry which is trying to sell is is, is started uh started digging uh digging for some solutions how to how to uh reduce the the calcium influx but they missed at least i think three points very important ones the first is that even martin paul if someone dares to to really listen to him says that this does not uh it's it's not about calcium alone exactly. but all other child uh, ions so it's potassium uh potassium uh, uh voltage uh, uh voltage gate on the on the cell is also sodium and also the sodium the potassium and others are actually contributing to atps uh, atp in the in the mitochondria and so on so this is just a complex mechanism and if you switch off just the calcium influx like you are doing with the calcium channel blockers i mean the the the, the medicinal ones yeah you are doing exactly the exactly the thing which i was talking about you are doing the blocking but doing the blocking of the calcium influx is actually switching off the natural regulation, regulatory dynamics of this channel. So calcium channel blockers are used for hypertension, but do they people are cured for hypertension by calcium channel blockers? No, and they have a bunch of side no, effects. No, they have a bunch of side, side effects. effects. And the yeah. same is here. If you have a, one of the symptoms, which is the influx of the, of the which is non-physiological influx because of the gating of the channel by the electromagnetic, by the external electromagnetic fields, 
it's not a solution or at least it's not a long-term solution or it's yeah. not a healthy or vital solution to block it. Yeah. All right. So it's not because blocking it permanently is just switching of the regulation, the regulatory capacity. So the regulatory capacity is where to and for what time and when to actually open this channel, when to close it. Okay. This is the information which is important, not only the the uh, volume or culture, right? Yeah. So it's not like block it. It's it's just it's just very primitive solution, which is not a solution at all for a complex things like life. Okay. This is this is simply one thing. And for all those people claiming that that uh, that they have a solution because they they just just heard about Martin Paul saying about the the calcium channel blockers as a uh, because they were shown in the studies that they that they actually remove this this harmful reaction uh, to the electromagnetic fields temporarily. This this was meant to to prove that electromagnetic fields affect calcium channel, and then in return, if we take the calcium channel blocker, then the effect is gone. But this is not a solution for life to take calcium channel blockers, all right? Yeah. And then we have to take the uh, potassium channel blockers, uh, chloride channel blockers, and, and sodium channel blockers. And when we block everything, so go block yourself, all yeah. right? And, and, and call it health, all right? So it's, it's simply, you know, it's not the thinking like I, like I call thinking, right? Yeah. It's, so it's taking it's yeah. scientific uh, research and um, distorting the conclusions in some sense. I mean, it's not, not distorting. It's actually a very, a very primitive, you know, finding a one headline and trying to and trying to say that, that this is knowledge and understanding of the study. Yeah, okay? exactly. It's like that. I, I would like to just quickly. Uh, uh, OK, uh, I, I cannot I cannot share the screen. <laughs> I am not unable to do that, but I, I wanted to to give I mean, anybody who want to think about the, the kind of a solution in this uh, in this realm to really dig into one study by Dimitris or maybe even it's not a study it's an article okay. uh, of Dimitris Panagopoulos uh, from 2013 I guess which is called uh, let me let me just uh, we're gonna share it uh, I can share yeah. it on screen also yeah, we afterwards can share it on that. Yes. and this is uh, the title moves for itself is electromagnetic interaction between environmental fields and living system determines health and well-being oh. and this is actually a very i think most people didn't didn't read it because dimitris panagopoulos is somewhere somehow in the shade he's in greece not in the united states and so on so he's not very famous but this is an article, so don't be scared by the mathematic formulas because there is a lot in there. <laughs> and I know people just, you know, just are scared and yeah. no, I, I, I would not read it. This is mathematics. Uh, but apart from the mathematics, there are certain uh, 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 hypotheses about the, the different mechanism, how EMF affects uh, human biology. And uh, this article is 2013, and I would say each one of them was was only reinforced over the years. So this is a serious study about also the calcium, uh, not calcium, but or ion channel uh, things, but this is only the one thing. There is an indirect uh, DNA damage and so on and so forth. So I, I would really like to see those people behind those harmonizer and so on, starting, starting from that, and then we can discuss. I am open yeah. for discussion, but, but you know, when they are not aware about all those things or the other way which is possible is that they, they don't want to be aware they just want to sell so then yeah. goodbye i don't have time for you right so 
Yeah, so they're trying to uh, cherry pick an effect. Okay, it's a calcium channel. So we're going to show that our device blocks it. And then we say, look, it's protective. Uh, But then uh, they don't address the potassium. So then uh, when we make the idea that, oh, no, it's also potassium channel because I've heard the EMF guy talk about it on his latest podcast. And then they're going to say, okay, well, now we're going to prove potassium channel. But the truth is... Do we really know all the interactions between all the sensors in the human body that can pick up electrosmog and electrosmog itself? The re- and the answer is likely no. So no, oh, but even the part yeah. we know, even the part we know. So read the the Dimitris Panagopoulos. It's not in in this in, in it's not included in the thinking of those guys. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so we know quite a lot. Okay, we know quite a lot. If you read the study, we know quite a lot. It's just uh, uh, it's just uh, not the right way to think that if we block the it's not only because there are other channels it's also because if you block this calcium influx the calcium influx most usually it's a stress response yeah Simple. okay again so yeah. this is again we are we are going back to that you 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 are not going to you are not going to 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 be any better if you block all the stress responses because most of them are proper yeah all right if they are regulated if they are if they are adequate to the to the stressor they are they should be there so yeah. blocking them it's really not a solution. So we have to first be really humble to the marvels of our biology and then try to think that me know everything and I have solution and I go to the market and make a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. If you want to make a lot of money on the shallow primitive thinking, okay, do it. But I, I, I don't care. Okay. I, I am not your, not, not for you. And I, I don't want to you know, make my time, my valuable time for, for such a discussion. Okay. If, if you want to do that, right, go ahead. It's, it's, it's your way. It's, and, and your consequences. No, no, no problem with that. But I, I just want people who really are, who really care about their health, not doing such stupid mistakes. All right. Yeah. And it's a, so think it's, a little. Don't yeah. don't rush into it because if it's in, if it's a rush behind it, if it's a big money behind it, if it's a lot of people liking it on the Facebook, it's a, that's probably bullshit. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's, yeah, it's like it that means that they have in, good marketers. <laughs> you know, it's 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 like if you look for Ole Johansson, if you look for Car- Joe Carlo, if you look for Dimitri Panagopoulos. They also publish some studies together. Uh, those people do not make a lot of money, all right? And those people have really something to say for yeah. you, all right? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's just a marker for it. I, I am not against money, you know, it's, it's not like that. But, but today you have to be very careful because the, the money, the success, financial success, usually mean promoting very shallow thinking, you know? Um, trying to make you into consumer mind you just pay you you pay for you you pay your life your time your earnings to the stupid guys with the with with the idea that they just find something and they market it and make a lot of money on it and they don't care about you okay they don't care to find the individual solution for you for your health problems and if you would be not good not not good they they probably as i told you they probably have a very good disclaimer somewhere between the lines so they will be no there will be no uh, no responsibility for for that and and that what about the responsibility so they will pay you before afterwards when you have the ruined health and they they pay you this is something really worth living for for the you know the trial and getting money from someone who ruined your life because you allowed to you you didn't want to think for yourself no it's like that (laughs) yeah uh pavel thanks so much for taking the time today how can people find you how can people uh support your work hear from you if they're uh, more local or online. I don't know if you, you, you have clients that you coach. So please, uh, any anything you want to share. Uh, all right. So 
that's a tough thing because you know I am still I am still in the in the process of of trying to find more time for for really doing what I what I would love to do. But yeah. uh, you know the tough reality is that I most of my earnings are for from my company, which is uh, about electromagnetic shielding, but not only in the in the in the health respect. Let's say mainly, but not only. It is, there are also other projects, mm-hmm. and this consumes really um, majority of my time. So there is not much left, especially if I am still want to and still uh, able to to read a lot of studies and go into the science and so on. So my time is very limited, and I am not happy about that. But maybe. Maybe I, I, I will find some ways for that. I have a Patreon blog, which is uh, on, on Patreon platform. So for those who want to somehow sponsor, I would say, because it's not a bad word, sponsor my work. It's usually, you know, my articles are very different structures than the, than the all articles uh, which are showing off on, in, the, in, the, in the internet. Yeah. Because the usual structure is, you have this and this effects buy this on this and my articles are please understand this and this don't buy those shit. okay <laughs> this is this is different structure so yeah. i am what i am what i am really selling is an understanding it's uh, it's a knowledge or perspective uh, on things and if you want to support me then simply subscribe to patreon as my patron as most of my articles on Patreon also go also go public uh, after a certain time, so you can read them. But there is really very mm, very small number of them so far. Uh, so I'm still trying to find time. I have plenty of ideas for articles, so I I I feel so pregnant, but I cannot really express it, cannot really communicate because of time. My Last idea is that I, because the writing an article in English and which is well researched and well thought of, it's time. Okay, yeah. and and what I my last idea is that probably on the on this uh, one of the tires on my Patreon blogs, I I I would probably consider doing uh, simply be weekly Q and A's for my patrons. Okay, if that fits the the uh, the people that would be probably more realistic than doing a lot of articles which are simply very difficult for me to do in the limited time so patreon blog is is one place the other place is simply email me i cannot really i cannot really guarantee that i i i will respond especially i i can guarantee that i will respond but probably not quickly yeah uh, but it depends if you if you are lucky it's just then you know <laughs> i have uh, some time and the topic is is uh, is uh, and i am in the mood then i i respond very quickly so perfect it really depends so you have my email so yeah so i'll please, share it in the show please, notes please share it and uh in terms of private consultation, I do it, but for a very limited number of, okay. of, of, of people. Uh, but still do it. My rate is 100, about 100 euro per hour uh, if someone is interested. And it goes uh, you know, really wide range. Uh, we can start from the health effects and, and discuss that and, and best approaches to that. Not really focusing only on the electromagnetic side of it, but it's included, okay? It's, yeah. it's, it's a part of the story, so you cannot you cannot really take it out. Uh, so even some practical things. So someone is buying a flat or a piece of land and want to be sure if it's the right decision electromagnetically. So I can I can guide the person through the measurements and limits and so on and so forth. How to check it? Or someone wants to shield the apartment very well and so on. I can also guide it uh, guide him through that. So the different things. I am quite multidimensional in my approach, so I, I, I don't like focus on just narrow thing. And yeah, and the, the, basically that's it. Um, Perfect. Thank you so much, it. Pavel. And uh, we're gonna reconnect in the future when we have uh, new, maybe new, uh, newer perspective on this and 
Uh, there's going to be uh, in the comments, I want to encourage uh, listeners to share this and to respond. If you agree, if you don't, if you have certain products uh, that you think are completely different. Uh, so it, this is a place of exchange. Uh, this is not a... Uh, a definitive uh, debate or, or, or dogmatic position against harmonizers, but this is, uh, to the contrary, an open discussion on uh, making sure that they are marketed the right way and that people understand that uh, reducing EMFs, eliminating sources, is still and remains, uh, to my knowledge, the sole scientifically proven thing you should do to minimize risk. Uh, and all the rest is gravy. You can experiment with them, but don't think that uh, they are a panacea. So, Pavel, uh, thank you so much again, and uh, we're going to reconnect soon, I hope. There is a one different thing about science, between science and religion, is that the science, I mean, the true science, it's never definitive. It's never dogmatic. Yes. So, uh, with that, I want to thank you and all the listeners, and yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.